What is your name and age? My name is Minnie Jean Brown and I am 16 years old. What school did you first integrate in? I first integrated in Little Rock Central High School with eight other students. What did you call yourselves? We called ourselves the Little Rock Nine. Why did you call yourselves this? We called ourselves this because we went to Little Rock Central High School, so that's where you get the Little Rock, and then there were nine of us. What day did you integrate on? We integrated on September 24th, 1957. Were you ever threatened? We were threatened a lot. We got lots of calls to our house telling us that they wanted to kill us and things like that. What was it like being one of the first African Americans put into a white school? It was very scary, but also very exciting. It was scary because we were putting ourselves in a lot of danger because most people didn't want us to be there. But we were also potentially helping African Americans around the world and all African American students that would hopefully one day integrate because of us. How did you feel when Orville Fabus prevented you from entering on your first day? It was very shocking because we showed up the first day thinking that the National Guard was there to protect us and keep the peace because, like I said, so many people didn't want us to be there. But when we found out they were there to keep us out, it was very shocking. Did you have any major problems during the first few days you were there? We had to sneak out because of it, and it was, like, so dangerous that that's why we had to leave. And that was very terrifying and scary. Did you have anyone to protect you in the school? President Eisenhower called in the 101st Airborne because we were in so much danger, and they were there to protect us, but they could only walk with us in the hallways. They weren't allowed to like go in the classrooms or the gym or the cafeteria. So when we were in those places where they couldn't be with us, we were often like hurt. Like some people kicked us and some people hit us with purses. And some boys even put steel toe and heel plates in their shoes so it would hurt more when they kicked us. Why did you jump chili on the heads of the two students? They were provoking me and I had enough of it, so I thought by dumping the chili on their heads that it would keep them from doing that, but it didn't. What was your punishment for doing this? I was suspended and I later went to Burberry. How long were you suspended for? I was suspended for six days in December and then I was later kicked out. What is Burberry? Burberry is the other school that I went to after I was kicked out of Little Rock Central High School for dumping the chili on the two boys' heads. Do you think the same thing would have happened to white students if they dumped chili on the heads of African American students? No, I actually know that that wouldn't happen because many kids had done that to me and the other part people that were a part of Little Rock Nine before. Many times we'd had things dumped on our heads and nothing ever happened to them, which just shows that they wanted to get us out of the school because they didn't want us to be there. Do you regret going to the school? No, even though it wasn't very like pleasant, I think it was a good idea that we went because then we were making a difference in the world and helping other people. What do you plan on doing now that you were kicked out? Now that I was kicked out, I plan on going to Lincoln High School, and I hope to later graduate from university. When did Little Rock Central High School decide they wanted to integrate? Little Rock Central High School decided to integrate their system in 1957. Why was the National Guard there on the first day that you were supposed to integrate? Orville Fabus um, ordered them not to let us in and keep us from attending, but... President Eisenhower found out about it, and he told the National Guard to leave. Do you know any future plans that the school has for integrating? I heard that Governor Fabus is going to close the public schools and keep African Americans out of them altogether.